how much of y'all trying to supplement you and you truly really bless Because the majority of Israelites ain't going to get this offer. The majority of Israelites are going to reject this truth. The majority of Israelites are going to die in this destruction that's coming. Well, the main number of them is going to die in that nuclear destruction, nuclear missiles. And that's a terrible death. They showed you that in the movie Terminator 2. When you saw uh, uh, Sarah Connor hanging on the fence. Oh, this is an old camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Samsung yeah. series, you can get it for like $100 and something dollars, man. And they're just as good. They're just, yeah. No, no, you'll notice. I'm sorry, brother. The cameras are super cheap, man. We're not talking about that. I mean, but you got to get a uh, SD card. They're not really talking about the time. Make sure you get a You know what you got to do? Tomorrow you can do it. Go down to, uh, right down the street, uh, B&H. And get, the, get this camera. Or anything like this camera. But if you get the SD card, you get a 16 gigabyte. That way you can do a lot of filming, all right? Then you just erase it. And then, you know, do it all over again. Now let us through the wilderness. Through a land of deserts and of pits. How much money do you want to they're cheap now. They used to be expensive. Uh, you can get a, a good one for like maybe uh, twelve dollars, maybe fifteen. You know, the more you pay, the better quality you get. You get the you know running the mill one, but it's, but ask for sixteen gig and make sure this is a HD camera. You know, that's where your shit come out clear all the time. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, they closed what? They closed today. Because they're so called, when you go up in there, numbers so called Jews, black children, but they real nice, man. I'm gonna treat you like family, man. You know? They got to get you pretzels, water, all that bullshit, man. They got the bathroom for you, man. They don't, they don't look, look at you. But who's this nigga doing up in here, man? Because they know you're gonna buy. I will go. Everything is fucking cheap. They got you get you you get lost in that place. Turn unto my place. Go on. They got cameras in there, like fifty thousand dollar cameras up there, man. They got a little one hundred dollar all the way up to fifty thousand dollar shit, man. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna know that a superior power is doing that. You can make a whole movie, man. That's where they go. You so see, much, you so be much seeing that going to be happening in America. They're going to say, man, this ain't man doing no this. This is a, a superior power doing this. We're being visited by, you know how they say, that we're being visited by God. God is doing all this to America. Hey, speak on that. Uh, let them speak on that real quick. Well, like this brother, Albert, I was telling the brother that uh, b &H, camera store, owned by the so-called Jews, is closed today because they're closed today because it's Saturday because they're worshiping Saturday. Saturday means Saturday. Saturn. And I believe Renfam is the is god of Saturn. Right. Which, when you say Renfam, his symbol uh, is uh, the uh, pyramid going up and the curve is going down. Right. Okay. Which is the star, which is this right here. Let me just, because I flip my garment inside out, which is basically this. And like you got this, that symbol on your shirt right here. Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, I mean, it's like, you, where you wear it? Don't matter. Hey, I got Nikes, man. You know? At home. But if somebody says you want your shirt, I said, look, they just. Now, if I can tear it off, it don't mean nothing to me. Because you're worshiping that. You go off and you worship that, man. But Nike, you saw the movie 300? Okay, that was an actual story. And those people that were fighting King of the United, they were Jakes. That's why they had the big, they made sure he had a big, bushy beard. But they should have had Denzel playing King of the United. Okay? And that's when um, the Greeks started to take down the, um, the Persians. But it started with us, and then Esau came up in there and took our way of life, which is that, because when we go off, we set up a new way of life, but we'll, we'll, we'll use Israel's uh, gods, but we'll change their name, like Zeus. Zeus ain't nothing but the most, it's your house. But they just changed his name to Zeus. All right? Because Zeus, they'll shut the white man and tell you that, ask anybody what color is Zeus. Zeus is a black man with a big afro and a big beard. Man. That's right. You know? Anyway, they had, uh, that movie was about the actual battle that was called, the, uh, what was it called? The, the, the Battle of Thermopylae. Thermopylae means hot gates or hot city gates. But in that battle, you had this one guy, there was a, a war that they had won, so he had to go and tell the king. And he ran 26 point something miles, and when he got there, he said, Nike, Nike, which means victory, right. okay? That's why when you have the marathon, right. why, do you, why, does, why is a marathon, 
of 26 point something miles. Because the word marathon goes back to the victory of the Battle of Marathon. Right. marathon. And those were Jake's. And Jake's used to do like it was nothing. You got Esau, they'll do a marathon and drop dead. Jake will do it like it's nothing. But one guy, he ran running fast too. 26, or 26 and a quarter miles. Then he bowed down to the king. He said, Nike! And then the people cheered, yeah, Nike, Nike. <laughs> Gad and them, the so-called Latin tribes, the ten, ten tribes, I'll say, they're about 99 and a half, ten tribes. They used, before Esau got over here, they used to be able to run 300 miles like it was nothing. You know? Yeah, he, what he's talking about is in the book um, by James Adair. James Adair he lived among the Native Americans for 40 years. But he was a jig. Yep, he was a jig. I believe he was uh, Scots. I think he was Scottish. He was the Scots and niggas. And, um, he and by the way, most of the Irish are actually Scots. But it was the Scots that, that, you know, put their seed among the Irish. So a lot of times you see a person say he's Scottish, right? Like this guy, uh, Conor McGregor. He's a UFC guy. He all wild. He got that beard. That dude's a Scot, but he'll say he's a he's a he's a he looks like a cracker, but you can see by his spirit, man. That dude is so bad. The champ, which was uh, what's this guy, the, the the Brazilian guy? The hell is his name? Huh? No, 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 no. no. The lighter weight. What the hell is this guy, man? Anyway, he was beating everybody's ass, and when, when Conor McGregor came on the scene, he got scared of him, man. So he said there was supposed to fight a month, month ago, and he said, I got an injury, man. And McGregor, McGregor is a fucking beast, man. But that's a Jake. Now, you look at him as being a cracker, but that's a Jake. Really, he's probably a Scot, man. But them Scots, man, them Irishmen, but them Scots, they were wild, too. But those were our people, man. Yeah, William Wallace. Right. Oh, Brave Heart. Heart. You're really supposed to be so called black man. Yep. Robert, Robert Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, those 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 was all Jake's. King James. King James was a Scot. That's right. Right. But you know, I believe King James's line through his mother. Her her father was King James V of Scotland. She was a black woman, Queen Mary of Scotland. On her father's side, which is King James V of Scotland, the line goes back to Robert the Bruce that was with William Wallace. I believe his line on his mother's side goes back to Robert the Bruce. Yeah, you, you can go look it up, but I believe it goes back to Robert the Bruce, the guy who was in the movie Braveheart, but it should have been a black man. That royal line. There, there, Scott, yeah. But it was the English, which was Negro fight, it was black on black line back then. Yeah. You know? See, like when he's speaking about with King James, they were niggas. You had the British niggas, and you had the Scottish niggas, and they were all first, second, and third cousins, four cousins. And they were fighting against each other. The niggas in Scotland didn't like the niggas in England. The niggas in England were being uppity, and they were taking privilege and right over the ones in Scotland. And that was their first, second, and third cousins. And that's why they were warring against each other. It's just like the Bloods and the Crips. It's the same damn thing. Niggas fighting against each other. Niggas taking right over other niggas that they consider lower than black. And the word Scott means black. Scottish, Scottish literally means black men. Now you see the, you got the pretty black and what a fucking white boy. Right? That's all I mean. But you know what, a nigga won't say nothing about that, man. You niggas ain't got the spirit, man. Oh, they, they blew away another Jake, college basketball player. He broke down, I just heard about it. And he was knocking on doors in, in a white neighborhood to get help and cop blew him away, man. But when are you niggas gonna wake up? Huh? Right. Yo, it's an it's a all-out assault on you black men here in America. Not the black women, and the black women's a part of that all-out assault. It's an assault on her, too. They didn't kill yeah, they, 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 they locked up yeah. and killed. They killed yeah. this one woman. They put. They locked her up in Mount Vernon for, the, for a shoplifting. And when they went to check her the next day, she, she, jumped, she died. But she said she was sick. And I guess they sent her to the hospital or whatever, and they thought she was all right. And then she just dropped it. Another black the other, woman. They said that she hung herself with the bullshit. Yeah, how you gonna, how you gonna hang herself 
because of a, a simple traffic uh, right. uh, problem. Right. Right. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get those so destroyed that you won't hang yourself, man. That's bullshit, man. But niggas are not marching because they're, they're saying, well, maybe we want to get away this time. Man, fuck these niggas, man. You know? Right. It's gonna escalate, too. It's gonna get worse. It's not gonna uh. get any better. It's gonna get worse. We're looking for it to get worse. They're gonna kill, they're gonna start killing. You're gonna hear the news where they're gonna start killing a hundred jakes at a time. They did that with the move down there in Philadelphia. The mayor was a mayor good, I call them good niggas. And they dropped bombs. They got in helicopters, they dropped bombs and killed about a hundred of them. It's a move. And this was back in the early 80s. And Jake didn't do nothing. Yeah, so it's gonna escalate. I, I got a, a stupid Jeremiah 15 and 4. And I will cause them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. Because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? For who shall bemoan thee? For who shall go aside to ask how, I, how thou doest? Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord, thou art gone backward. 15 and 3, Jeremiah 15 and 3. Jeremiah 15 and 1. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be towards this people. And that's why the Lord is only going to save one third of his people. Because two thirds of the Most High is fed up with him. Two thirds of the Heavenly Father is. Washington, so to speak, he's washed his hand in those two thirds. Right? And those two thirds are like these Israelite groups and some some niggas in GMS. That's right. Well, you got niggas in GMS too, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. You know? Go ahead. Cast them out of my sight. Cast them out of my sight. Go on. And let them go forth. That's why back then we were cast out of Lord's sight, which was the land of Jerusalem. And we're scattered all, all around the world. But now. The meaning of that, cast them out of my sight, is when the Most High destroyed us, those two things. All right? And he's going to save us one third, especially when Yahweh Shai come back. Yahweh Shai got destroyed and settled for a lot of these niggas. Because a lot of these niggas were responsible for giving up Yahweh Shai. They all cried in unison, kill him and let his blood be upon us and our children. That was niggas that said that. Okay? And, and a lot of those niggas are back here now. All right? That's one of them niggas right there. Yeah, that's one of them right there. <laughs> see, you know, that's and how you know. See, whenever the truth come out, people get offended. Yeah. Why is that? They get offended. The spirit, the, the spirit in them get, starts rising up and they get offended. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death. Such as are for death to death. So the death you seen in the news, these niggas get popped up, popped by them cops. That's to fulfill prophecy. That's to fulfill prophecy. Such as are for death. Hey, we didn't write it. All right. The Most High spoke it. Men wrote it, but the Most High spoke it. Thus saith the Lord, what? such are for death to death. Such as are for death to death. That's why you see death coming. Okay, go on. And such as offer the sword to the sword. What's the Monday sword? The gun. That's why a lot of these niggas are dying by the gun. They're killing each other, and the cops are killing them. That's prophecy, brothers. Right? And it's going to be more. It's going to escalate. It's going to get worse. That's what we're trying to tell you. It's going to get worse. Go ahead. And such as are for the famine to the famine. And there's famines coming. Famines are most likely going to be man-made because when, when you cordon off the city under martial law, you, get that you stop the trucks from delivering the food, right. you instantly create a famine. If you want to, you want to speak on it? Basic. Right. That's how you were saying. It takes every store has a free supply of food. That's why you always see a truck bringing in bread, bringing in milk, eggs, butter, bringing meat in. Every store has a three-day supply. I'm sorry, I'm going to add to that. On the highways, you always see those trucks, right? What the hell do you think they bring? 
They're bringing you food. That's what they're bringing. Like, case in point, the oranges. They're coming from California. They're not going to magically float over here, right? Nope. They're going to be in a truck. And the truck is going to be on the highway. And they, don't, they don't put them in planes. They put them in ships. If they come right. from another country, right. yeah. they come in ships. And it goes they have those truck. containers, those big containers, man. Hey, they showed you that in uh, War of the Worlds with uh, Tom Cruise. Remember, he's working them damn. Thank now, that damn machine, I'll work the fuck out that machine. <laughs> I'll beat I'll be Tom Cruise in that, man. <laughs> Shit up. I was good at that, man. Back when I was young and forklift, I used to pick shit up, man. You know? But uh, they had those containers, man. Right. With all your stuff, like your TVs, your couches, your furniture, your different places from around the world. Come in, they come in on. That's why it's called Maritime. That's why you have uh, maritime, uh, what they call it, Maritime Marines. Maritime Marines. Maritime Marines. Maritime. Right, you have uh, Merchant Marines. Merchant Marines. Merchant Marines. Merchant, 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 uh, to buy and sell, commerce. you know? Top commerce. Right. Commerce. 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 You know? Yeah, so they come by your truck. That's right. So they, they come by your truck. So when you start seeing less and less of the trucks, then you know something is up. And there's a, a story circulating where the truckers, they're trying to, uh, to go deeper. They're trying to do away with the trucks, so to speak. Right? I mean, if you know anything about that, you can speak on it. But like I said, once you start seeing less and less truckers, then expect more and more food shortages. Because that's how your food gets it. It gets it by the trucks. Um, Barack Obama passed the bill, H.R. Um, 13603, where he could inmate slave labor and, and taking control over the food. Yeah, okay. Even animal food, even dogs and cat food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, under that bill that yep. he passed. HR 13603. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Under that bill, the government assumes control of all food, water supplies. They assume control of uh, potting soil, well, that's under, all seeds. Well, so that's <laughs> under the executive orders, too. Because those of you brothers that's read about the executive orders, them things have been on the books since the early 60s. I think it was during a... Uh, uh, JFK, during his administration, they passed the executive orders, which when you look up the term executive order, it means king's decree. So those executive orders, they're going to be passed. And when they're passed, that's when all hell is going to break. They're going to be put into effect in the event of a national emergency. In the event of a national emergency, the executive branch, which is the president, you've got the three branches of government. Legislative, executive is the president, legislative is the Senate and the House and the Congress. The judicial is the Supreme Court. Right. Those two branches will be shut down and the executive will rule. Now, the, under the executive branch, they have something called an anti-hoarding act. Mm -hmm. See, they do shows on the History Channel or whatever channel, but you got people who are called preppers or people that they get food they together don't, and all I don't, that. Know don't know if it's actually in war. Or they want to put it in law, but they spoke about it. I mean, if you go to Google and you put an anti-hoarding act, it's it's um it's like it's like they say it's a bill. It's not fully in law, but they can turn around. Yep. Uh, the president can pass an executive order, you know, because people are, are, are you know hoarding food and other people are starving and dying, so he can make an act called an uh, anti-hoarding act. All right, well, you know what? Um, wow. This is an appropriate time to bring out uh. Second as a 15, you know? Because we're coming to second as a 15, man. Right. You know, we're coming, we're, you, you want to go to like the big plates, the foods, the foods, the people right here, they won't, they won't be, they won't be sorry, man. Yeah, the bubble, the bubble bunches of the world. The bubble bunch, the bubble bunch, that song is going to be They, they eat, they sleep, man. Yeah. Got a brownie, munching on the brownie while they sleep, man. Yes. You ever see a nigga that ever fall asleep while he's eating, man? What the shit is that? Hey, they got a picture of that big nigga with the, with the big Houston burger. His mouth is just as big as the burger. Maybe the nation's about to open his mouth and eat. He's not going to make it. Yeah, that's it looks like one of his nations. I mean, uh, uh, that's the that's, that's, that's honor.
forgot the name of the burger. Right, it's it's a burger in Las Vegas, man. The hot is called the heart attack. You had Google the burger, the heart attack from Las Vegas. What they're gonna start like? They don't have to tell you about Las Vegas. That's insane.